All right, guys. Well, today is going to be something uh, starting of like a process video here uh, on lens or uh, the Hammer X3. Got some clunking, some banging, uh, just some random Sounds stuff. Sounds like a razor. Yeah. And, oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. And it's, it's just over 2,000 miles, so it's time to start going through some things. So uh, one of the first things we found, and I see it on my X3 as well, is the steering rack. Uh, you wanna? Yeah, it's. I, I'm not. I'm not real happy about that. Yeah, this is a common it's bad. thing. It's bad. It's worse than it shows right there. So. So what's happening is inside there, it in it's going up and down. So there's slop inside whatever keyway that holds us in there. So we'll talk with uh, our dealer on getting that warrantied. Uh, so that'd be one issue. We went through uh, all the uh, b uh, ball joints and connecting rods and all yeah. that stuff. Feel you pretty good. You don't know how to check them. The only thing that uh, does need to be replaced is these sway bar links. Um, they're just a nice sizable amount of play and clunk that you get from those. So and you can't really grab them and, and test them. You just stick a bar in here anywhere. We haven't tested it with the wheel off, but just. Yeah, a little bit in there. There's a little bit of play in there. I don't think it's enough to warrant doing no, anything. No, not with it, quite but. yet. Yeah, you do got some. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. That's where it's coming from. It's these. Yeah. All the way up in here. Yeah, see that? That's moving. Yeah, I so think that bolt's loose, bro. Uh, Go move, move it around. You get a better chunk at her here. Better. I'll do it without scarring yeah, the paint here. Yeah. yeah, the bolt's moving. Bolt's loose. There's another, there's another big clunk, so this has got to be tightened up. What about the other side? Do you see anything over there? Uh, on the on up here? On, on the, the front? front? Yeah. No, this wasn't moving. You know, I might do there's, I there's not there's a little bit of play in it. I but might not do some much. new bushings regardless, just cause tighten it up a little bit. It comes in a full set anyways. Yeah, I might as well, I might as well do some urethanes, maybe. Tighten no. her up, make her sound good, because I cannot stand rattles. Nope. I get I get creepy crawlies on my skin when I hear rattles. Well there's nothing like a nice tight machine like brand oh, new, nothing, so everything nice and tight is good for me. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start tearing this stuff down. <laughs> I already got I already got the uh, calipers off on this one side. Brakes are about due, so we're gonna see if we can get some brakes. Uh, we might actually take a ride out to Ray's today, check out the new shop. If they're open yeah. and if they got the parts we need. See, it's worn more on the inside than the outside. So yeah, pressure side. Pressure always. side is yeah, usually. These aren't these aren't like a car where they slide on a nope. On a so piece. we got the hub off uh, here. That was simple. You just take the castle nut off, slides right out. It's not pressed on or anything. It literally just walks right off. Yeah, I remember that from oh, in pretty good shape. And it's a good thing that you keep some grease in there for the next time so that you don't seize up and have an issue with that. So this is off, we're good. What you do is I uh, got a grease adapter that goes in this little double right here and we pump grease into that and it'll actually uh, penetrate into these bearings and uh, we'll know he's good there. So I'm gonna go get that tool and uh, we'll meet you back. Now you might as well, if you're in here doing your stuff, get a set of brake pads because you do not want to have to replace the rest of this stuff. Then halfway. Oh, uh-oh. We got some... Carnage. Yeah. Oh, boy. So that is well, the yeah, clip that's... that holds the bearing in. Why would that get... Yeah, you must have got something funky in there, and it must have just caught it just right. Either that or it's all the way from um, manufacturing. That's interesting. Holy cow. We might be able to snip that, put some spring back into it, and reseed it. Or just... Lacking mountain and order one. That's what holds your bearing in. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh it's it's, it's semi important, you know. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, you see that? That's not supposed to be in there, boys and girls. Well it's supposed to be in there, but not like that. No, I mean this bend that's in oh, oh I guess you yeah, it's not supposed to be like that. And it just fell out, so I don't know. Maybe that was part of my clunking noise. That's, you know what? That's, That's interesting. That's curious because it's also the same wheel that tried walking itself it's the same. Out. It's the same one that tried to that pinched the cotter pin. 
Uh, I don't I wonder, know if it has anything to do with it or not. Yeah, the bearing tried walking itself out. But look how much play is in there. Oh. I'm just joking, that's all. <laughs> I'm just going to get a new one. Yeah. I'm going to get a new X3 XRS. Maybe I'll get a Wildcat. Ooh, yeah, Wildcat. Well, actually, you know what? I saw somebody got a wildcat for sale. Can you pull that bearing right out of there now? Won't it slip out? No, it, it's in there because I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's see if I can bend this back. Where's our uh, green? Of course, it's kind of. Right there. Back with the grease thing, guys. So, goes over the shaft all the way in make sure it's seated so what it does you guys are wondering there's two bearings in here and it can only push grease up through the center because of the outsides are sealed so it has a channel that this grease circ feeds through this channel and it has a seal so it can't go past so it forces grease up through and into the back sides of the bearings nice little tool if you guys need one they're like 20 bucks on amazon just look up X3 bearing grease tool or something really generic and you'll find it. No problems at all. I'll sell you that one for 50. <laughs> yeah. So you don't want to get crazy. I don't know if we really discussed this in the other videos. You don't want to get... One's got a crappy grease gun too. Well, straightened your out, but... Oh, and he's out of grease. Shouldn't be. Here, you pump while I hold this thing on there. There we go. You're going to pump. It's like five to seven. You're going to wait until you kind of hear it trying to push through your seals. Yep. Right there. You kind of seen it when it went boop. So if you push too much, guys, you might rupture the seal and then you're going to be changing that bearing out down the road. So just enough is plenty, plenty, plenty. Comes out nice clean. Well, I don't know if we can reuse this. I mean, we're only missing a half inch of it. Let's put a little tension and see if it sees. Oh, yeah, you're going to want to clean that channel way out because it was full of junk. The yeah, actual recess that it sits in. Oh, yeah, look at him get in there. Oh, nice. Get in there nice and deep like. Kind of nice. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. Oh, yeah, it's gonna go in there. Oh, that snaps in. Did it see? It yeah, did. use some uh, needles noses to see if it. It did. It popped. Just double sure, make sure it. Uh... Oh, yeah, she's in there. Well, if it comes off, it'll be an exciting event. I mean, it really can't go anywhere in theory. No, I'm gonna get a new one anyway, just and I'll change it out later. But for right now, yeah. So all he really did was just cut that bad little end off and straighten it, and then put a little spring yeah, back actually, in it. Actually broke right off, you know, because oh. these are spring steel, so it's just oh, yeah, super, super, uh, super, hard. super tough. All right, where's your uh, rotator? Can I throw it in the trash? I would. Oh, it's in the back of the KRX, I think. Oh, my. It's got KRX taint on it now. So, uh, just make sure... Where my towel go? Just make sure that you don't have a bunch of smuts on this race here. I mean, it's, it's not what the bearing rides on, but it definitely is what it sits on. The bearing's got its own gooeys. But, uh, line up your splines. Just walk it right in, guys. It's pretty easy. They're nice. Then we'll, uh, oh, yeah, we gotta get another. I don't have any. Don't we'll have just any. leave the cap off this. Yeah. Because we gotta do the brakes anyways. We're not putting the tires on. I don't have another. How do you not have. Cotter pins? I used to have three garage. We ain't got cotter pins. Oh, there it is. Right there. All right, so there you go. Really in the rear, everything's pretty well sound, other than 
These need to be changed out. That's a really big one on the Can-Ams, guys. Any little knocking, and you can check this. Just go on, put your car on the ground, grab the roll cage, and just start rocking it, and you'll hear them clunking. Have one guy put his hand on your rods here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have a partner always uh, stabilizer link and put yeah. your hand on the stabilizer link and when you rock it you'll feel these clunking <laughs> really bad so either so here's the thing you can either put the OEMs well, OEM ones on and save a little money or you can go get the ZRPs or the shock therapies and then you're done uh, you know so choose wisely on that one guys I don't know what to tell you go either way but you can you can we can honestly say you get 2,000 miles out of a lot of this stuff. So front bushings, 2,000 miles, you've got clunks, it's gonna be, definitely be front bushings. Uh, it's time for brakes, time to grease your bearings. And uh, also you might wanna check on your steering rack. We showed you how that thing was rocking in there. Uh, we don't feel play when, there's, when it's sitting on the ground, you don't get the clunkety clunk in the steering wheel or any play like that. It's all like radially on that thing, must be during the suspension travel. So. We're going to talk to the dealer on that, see if we can get those warrantied, because uh, they're definitely not to spec. Yeah, this uh, needs a diff change, diff uh, fluid change. Yep, that's going to be coming next. Uh, we got to get the fluid, so uh, it's 90, or 75, uh, 120, or no, 75, 140 in the rear, now. and 75, 90 up front. So we'll do that, get the oils and all that stuff changed on this old gal, get the parts ordered, and uh, so the next video, we'll tear the front end off. Uh completely replace the bushings do the brakes front back replace this clip in here and uh possibly we have some extra a arms that were given to us or, i'm sorry radius rods i'll check and we might possibly replace the passenger side one here on uh lens i don't know if you, if you do this here i mean they all have the same bushing in them they're all exactly the same okay i don't think it's going to make a difference no, that's not. I mean, I think they're this. They're this way from day one. Right? Yeah. They're just day one. They're like that. It's so a combo it, of both of them together. Yeah, I so. mean, you can get the shock therapy. They have a double shear uh, setup that goes in here. But that's not what we have a problem with. No, guys. it's not the no. fact that this has failed and wired out the aluminum. It's actually the ball joint itself right. inside. So it's the rubber mount. Yeah. Dealy here. That's. So I don't think that's gonna cause you too much problem. So really, if you're looking for the clunks and bangs, it's gonna be probably up in your front end, most likely with the bushings. Uh, and we'll dig deeper into that for sure and show you guys how to check that a little bit more thoroughly than what we already showed you here. So that's the plan for the next video. Uh, we also are gonna be doing, um, we still have the, uh, the big bad KRX in here um, for a little bit of finagling. We're gonna do some buttons here on these doors up doors no big deal but uh we have the alpine flex snow plow still from my defender that we're going to retrofit under the krx so that's going to take uh, some kind of thinking of a new plow mount that either a does not remove ground ground clearance or b if it removes ground clearance it has to be removable after the end of the winter so we'll start tinkering with that that'll be the next project after we get the uh the x3 up and running and back and back in business well, took out the uh, gto there so also this week i think uh, what did we say wednesday or thursday thursday is track wednesday, day i think wednesday's track day i know coot's coming up um len will be there of course me i don't know if chris is going to be in town or not we'll see but we're gonna have a little track day maybe i'll see if uh, somebody else wants to come over from uh, one of the other channels uh but uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Um, I think Monday I'm gonna go up. Uh, Linda and I are gonna go up and have some pizza with the blog guys. So that'll take up Monday. Hopefully these parts will be in Tuesday, and we can do another full video, of getting this all wrapped up, ready to go, and back to spanking new. And uh, yeah, and like I said, Carex next, and the doors. I know you guys are really wanting these doors uh, from the KRX, these uppers. Uh, Len's gonna have to think about that one, guys. It's a lot of work uh they take time the really i had one guy contact me and asked because uh, he had bought some plastic and asked you know if he had to heat it up and so on he was going to try to tackle it on his own but really if you have a conduit bender and a welder some three-quarter conduit and some lexan and some time you can work those out i'll do a little bit more detailed video on it but 
Maybe for some of our special people, we'll uh, have Lynn break out some special edition doors. And I would like to, uh, Andy De Detweiler that I had mentioned before, uh, EMP stepped up with him, gave him a windshield and a roof and everything. And uh, mine side doors are set up for the factory roof and everything. But uh, Andy, if you want some uppers, I'd be glad to make them for you. Um, I'll make the frames, but I don't really know how your roof is attached, so I may have to do something creative with that. But if you want some upper doors, um, like I have on mine, I'll make you upset, and we'll bring them down and put them on for you. Yeah, we could um, do a little research on the EMP roof and see how it's mounted. If not, we could probably We get... can figure out a mount, some bar clamps on the inside of it. And... Yeah, that way nothing's drilled, nothing's welded, nothing's tapped. You can yeah, remove them, I... take them off, on and off. I think they'd be really nice for you. Um, yep. I'd like to do it for you. I'd like to do something. Also... Um, we deal with uh, B Force John. He does tunes on KRX. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and we will get, if you want a tune for your KRX, which wakes it up pretty good. Yep. I mean, it, it's once you get. I know the horsepower is probably fine for you, but I think you're the kind of guy that likes horsepower. So uh, we'll talk to V Force and see if we can't get you a tune. We'll have to send out your ECU and. Yeah, it's like and, a three to five day turnaround. Yeah, and you're five closer. day realistically. Yeah. It's just. You know, if it's winter time, if you don't like winter ride, it might be a good chance to get this done for you. Uh, so we'll be in touch, uh, see what we can do. Even just the stage two is kind of kind of fun. Really wakes the machine up, like Len was saying. So we'll look into that. Yeah, it's. Uh, I know it's new to you, but having a little bit of extra power never hurts. Nope, it's always fun. So that's the plan, guys. Uh, going forward, uh, we're going to continue on with the garage stuff, with videos coming hopefully every three to four days over the next few weeks to catch up. Uh, we still got the camping that we're working on, so we'll keep them videos coming on the other channel. A uh, while back, um, just to share actually between us guys, I started a second channel, M3 Off-Road Extras. It's just cabin fixing stuff, some time lapse, whatnots of us doing kind of what we've been busy up to over the last six, seven months. So if you want to check that out, go check it out, no big deal. Like I said, it's more just for sharing between the guys, but uh, we're we'll working on that. We got Tip Up Town coming soon, so that's going to be awesome. I know it's going to be all unofficial, the ice race is off and all that, but we're going to be there. We're going to be out on the ice. We're going to be up at the cabin, camping. We're going to get some guys together. We're going to have some fun. So that should be great. So stick with us, guys. Please subscribe. You know, it does nothing to click that button. You don't even have to watch the videos. Just subscribe if you want. Uh, if you want to see when we release stuff, hit the bell icon. That's the notifications. Uh, you need to get a hold of me for any questions or any video suggestions. You can get a hold of me at ryan at m3offroad.com. Uh, we've been helping a lot of people out with uh, the chase light brake hookups and stuff like that. So just email me. We'll be more than happy to take care of you. So, all right, guys, we'll be safe. Happy holidays. Hope you have a great new year. We'll see you before then, but uh, we'll see you on the trails.